Hey guys, Cody SCM here, and welcome back to another episode of the Destiny Club, the show where I take a look at the awesome comments left by you guys, and I respond to them. If you want a comment featured on next week's episode of the Destiny Club, just be sure to leave a comment on any of this week's videos, and I'll go through them and I'll pick some of my favorites and respond to them. But anyways, enough about all that, let's get started. Alright, up first, casual Asian person commented, should Destiny go to PC? I personally think that it would be great if Destiny and Destiny 2 could make their way to PC at some point. Uh, I, I play a lot of games on the PC, I actually just got a new PC to do some gaming on, and I'm really excited about, you know, trying out, uh, trying out some more PC games. And it's one of those things, with a game like Destiny, it could only help grow the community to have it on more platforms. And the PC community is huge, and a lot of people exclusively play games on PC, so it would only make sense for Destiny to be on that platform. It would really help the community grow, and it would be great to have other people making content on Destiny, and just really have other people digging into the lore of the game, and, and just th having those PC gamers experience what all of us console gamers have, have really been enjoying for, you know, two years. So yeah, I think it would be great at some point to see Destiny make its way to PC, because with a game like Destiny, the more people that are playing, the better, really. So, will it happen? You know, who knows, but I personally would really like to see Destiny 2 make its way to PC, PS4, and Xbox One. So, great comment. Thanks for leaving it. Up next, user iZombie commented, Destiny's catchphrase is become legend. But how do you become legend when you look like everyone else? I want to see more customizable armor and weapons. Thoughts? You know, I think that you're right. I think that Destiny suffered, especially in year one, from a lack of, you know, viable gear options. Because if everybody remembers, in year one, you had to have a full set of raid gear, or, you know, raid gear with one exotic piece of armor, to be level 30. Outside of that, there weren't really many options for players. And I think that they fixed that uh, to some extent in year two, especially with the infusion system. But yeah, even at that, Destiny needs more armor options. But yeah, hopefully the upcoming DLC will have some awesome new armor options. And, you know, hopefully in Destiny 2 we see a ton of different endgame options in terms of customizing our Guardian to exactly how we want them. So yeah, great comment. Thank you so much. So in last week's episode of the Destiny Club, I asked you guys to design a subclass. You guys definitely didn't disappoint me, there's some great stuff here. So anyways, let's get straight into these. Up first, Logan Williams commented, A Taken subclass for Hunter, you spawn two dark sidearms that for a short period of time you can spray around, kind of like Stormcaller, and for jumps you get the classic blink, triple jump, and higher jump, and for the grenades, you throw a grenade, and then by pressing the grenade button again, you teleport to it, and as for the close ranged attack, you swap your normal knife, but take their shield and give yourself an overshield. You know, I really like the super a lot. I think that it would be great to see some sort of dual wielding uh, super for a hunter. I've always thought that was a cool idea, and it's great that you combined that with the, the darkness sort of element. But as far as grenade teleportation, I mean, that sounds pretty overpowered. Um, but I'm sure that could be balanced, uh, you know, in, in some sort of way. But yeah, thank you for your comment. That's a really cool idea. Up next, King Jason commented, My subclass would be called Traveler's Will, and it would basically be where you can place a ghost-like sentry bot, which would fight for you for like 30 seconds. Its damage wouldn't be huge, just balanced, and it could be destroyed if shot too much. Uh, I really like this idea for a subclass. I think this would be great for a Titan. It really reminds me of the Soldier class from Borderlands. And I would like to see, you know, a Titan throw down a small sentry that doesn't do a ton of damage and is more so a distraction to allow the Titan to, you know, get into the enemy ranks and just really beat those guys down. So yeah, good job on this comment. I really like that idea. Okay, and finally, Christian Robertson Robertson commented, If I could make my own subclass, it would be called Rogue, and the super would be called Little Buddy, which spawns a powerful minion of darkness to help you fight your enemies. I just want to say before I get too far into this comment, that it would be super funny if the minion that you spawned was huge, 
and you know maybe not ogre sized but pretty big and then the super's called little buddy and you could say look there's my little buddy and he's just giant so yeah that would be super funny uh, but anyways yeah i think this is a cool idea i think it would be great to be able to send something out into the world maybe draw aggro from bosses uh it would be really helpful to have something like that in destiny and this is right up a warlock's alley you know space magic bros for life so yeah i really like this idea for a subclass it's super cool and so that brings me into the question of this video you guys answer this down in the comments below and i'll go through and pick some of my favorites and show them in next week's episode of the destiny club Given that we saw a leaked image of the new upcoming Destiny DLC Rise of Iron, and it appeared to show Lord Saladin holding a flaming axe or a flaming warhammer or whatever that is, we can only assume that there's going to be new heavy weapons and new weapons in general, so I would like to hear you guys design some weapons. So let me know in the comments down below what your weapon type would be, what the name would be, what perks it would have, what it would look like, and so on and so forth and I'll show some of my favorites in next week's episode. But anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like on it. And if you're new to Destiny Follower, please be sure to subscribe for the latest Destiny news, lore, and entertainment. As always, my name is Cody SCM, and thank you for watching Destiny Follower.